everyone, it's Robin. Today's video is a little bit different, quite personal. I'm heading to the tattoo parlor to get my septum piercing removed and then to Sephora to find a concealer to hide my tattoos. <laughs> it's a day I never wanted to come, but here we are. I need to make these changes to fit into a potential job's professional standards. This piercing was more than just a piece of jewelry. It was a statement of my identity. Now I have to remove it to conform to a workplace that doesn't accept my way of expressing myself. And just like that, it's gone. Removing my septum piercing feels like I'm losing a part of myself, a part that I was really proud to show the world. Next up, finding a way to cover my tattoos. Another mark of my individuality that I'm being forced to hide. It's real, shopping for products to hide parts of who I am just to fit into a box that someone else has created for professionalism. Each step I take to cover up part of me, I can't help but feel like I'm betraying myself. It's a reminder of how far we still have to go in accepting everyone for who they are, not just for what they look like. It's moments like these that test us. Do we change to fit the world, or do we stand firm and hope the world changes to accept us? Today, I had to choose the former, and it's a choice that weighs heavily on me. I hope sharing this moment helps anyone else who feels they have to hide their true self to succeed professionally. You're not alone, and it's okay to feel upset about it. All right, this is, this is the last little moment with my septum piercing. It's really silly to be super emotional about it, but I've had it in my, I've had it in my nose for over eight years, I think at this point. And so I'm a little attached to it. I mean, it has been eight years. Yeah, I just read my written notes that I had on my phone and I feel really emotional today. I'm here with my little baby. You can't really see her, but this really means more to me than just removing a piercing. I almost feel like I'm losing a battle, you know? I want to have a good job. I want to be professional, but I also want to be able to express myself freely, creatively, whatever that may look like. For me, I love tattoos, I love piercings, and it's just so unfair that I have to hide that just so that I can land a professional job. And so today feels like a huge loss because I'm conforming to the norms that everyone else has molded for us. And this goes beyond just getting my septum piercing removed and having to hide my tattoos. It just feels like I'm hiding a piece of myself that for so long I wasn't afraid of hiding, you know? And now, to land this job that I really want, I have to hide a part of myself. I'm being so emotional today and just up until recently, I have been applying for jobs and interviewing for these jobs and at every single interview, all the hiring managers mention my septum piercing and my tattoos. They ask me if I'm willing to hide them for this job. And I always say I am, I am willing to hide these things. It hurts, but unfortunately that is the cost that I have to take in order to get a good job, a professional job. I'm not the only one who experiences this. So many other people experience it and I just, it sucks that we have to hide ourselves, a part of ourselves, just to have a good job. As you can tell, I'm very, I get very emotional when it comes to this topic. And it's something that really resonates with me because I do feel like I'm hiding a part of myself just for this job. It's also sort of a goodbye to a part of my identity. It sounds so silly, but I've had the septum piercing for over eight years 
and I've never removed it for a reason because I just feel like it's a part of me and today I'm saying goodbye to it. Anywho, gosh dang it, this sucks. I needed to get that off my chest, so thank you. <laughs> At least I made you laugh. <laughs> Today's like a funeral for me. Ay, me estoy viendo como el pulgoso. ¿Quién es el pulgoso? Una caricatura de un perro pulgoso. I got this piercing over eight years ago. Got it here, I got it removed here. So, I love you. I feel naked. It's the day of the interview, I'm getting ready. I'm attempting to cover up this hand tattoo with my left hand, which I'm a righty, so this is really difficult, but I also had to hide my tattoos here, which I don't know how I did because I can't see crap, but I feel like I did a good job at hiding these ones here, which are the visible ones, and now I just have to hide this one. I'm a little concerned because I have a long sleeve shirt to cover up this tattoo. It's freaking 105 degrees outside, but I have to cover up this tattoo and I'm not going to use concealer for this one because it's too big, but my shirt is white and I feel like I'm going to get concealer on my sleeve, but you know, I'm not even going to worry about it. It's, it's still pretty visible, but I think it looks a little better. I'm just going to layer it a little bit more. I ended up getting the NARS concealer. For some reason, Sephora is no longer selling the KVD, the Kat Von D Locket Concealer, which is what I used to use. And now I'm trying this NARS one, which I think should work. It's still kind of visible, but it sort of just looks like a bruise right now. I better get this job because it's the first day without my septum piercing. And let me tell you, I'm not happy about it. It looks like a bruise or like a veiny hand. <laughs> All right, the consequences of wanting to get creative with your body. Would I go back in time and not get tattoos? No. I think I would go back in time and maybe not get certain tattoos, but not all of them, because I have 10. But <laughs> I definitely have a few in mind that I would not get done if I could go back in time. The one on my ankle, for sure. This one, although this one actually has meaning to it. It's probably the only one that has meaning. Not this big one, but this little garbanzo bean here. Dropping a little bomb here on this video, but I was in a long-term relationship with someone. We got pregnant and I lost the baby. I had the baby for three months, called it my garbanzo bean. And then I lost it and I was really attached to it. So I got a little garbanzo bean tattooed on my wrist and I see it all the time and it makes me happy that one of course I would get done and never cover it like if a job told me to cover it, it'd be like you want me to cover my baby uh-uh but this one this other one I do sort of regret um yeah I just got back from my interview I wore my little kitten heels this is my fit pinstripe trousers kitten heels this shirt, <sighs> listen, let me close this. There was 25 of us there today, and I think oh, I think there was only maybe like 10 or under that were actually like well-dressed and gave good icebreakers in front of everybody. No offense, there were a few there that I was just like, question mark, question mark, question mark. Like, there was one, I'm literally going above and beyond to try to cover my tattoos and shit, and there was, a few people there who literally showed up in just t-shirts and jeans and they had like sleeves on and their 
icebreaker was like why are you here like one of them was like i've actually never flown be wait no is that mean no just kidding i'm not gonna talk about any we all did great um everyone tried their hardest did the, their best everyone brought what they could bring and i'm proud of everyone anyway i feel realistically there was only maybe 10 ish 10 or under who actually like passed the requirements like what they were looking for um but hey you know hope good luck to them but anyway fingers crossed everything works i really hope i get this okay that was a little update for you but i wanted to show you my outfit anywho yeah this is what i wore with my little kitten heels i feel like i was pretty well dressed all i can do is just wait and be hopeful thank you for watching please subscribe so that you can come along on my journey and i i'm really emotional in this video but i promise they're not all like this well i do cry a lot please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video Thank you so much for watching.